Hey, good morning, YouTube. Ray Horvath Productions here, and it is actually Wednesday, October 27, 2021. And I am coming at you guys with another video about the KRX, and this is going to be the 7,800 mile review. So, another 800 miles. This is the front of the Doniana Mountains, uh, one of the jagged areas, or I kind of like this area of myself by the lasso. Um, we also had an issue, but uh, before I move on to that, please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. It really helps me out, and it doesn't cost you guys anything. I'd like to get the subscriber base up uh, so I can continue to do these videos for you guys. Um, before I get into the issue that we had with the KRX, uh, I also just got over a cold, and I'm doing this uh, voiceover on this new mic. Uh, I'd like to answer a couple questions that uh, some of the viewers had asked me in the comments and some emails and I appreciate all the comments and emails please keep them coming I will try to answer every single one of them as uh, we move on uh, I can't get to all of you I apologize I eventually will um, but uh, yeah we did have one issue um, with the KRX stick around to the end of the video and I'll cover what that was uh, but in the meantime a couple of the questions they're asking um, a what kind of fluids do I use? A very simple. 100% synthetic gams oil. I use that everywhere that lubrication is required. Yes, they do make uh, the fluids for the KRX everywhere, and you can pick it up at their website. Um, second thing, um, why did I go back to the X-Comp uh, tires? Well, very simple. The Patagonias were lighter. They rode really well. I like these for the durability. They are a 10-ply tire. They're DOT approved, and I think they're one of the most rugged and toughest long-lasting tire that I've experienced um, and used for this type of terrain uh, that I ride in. And uh, as I stated before, that's a lot of lava flow down here, a lot of jagged rock, and these tires just hold up extremely well. Um, I did switch them previously so I could try to get a better ride out of it. Turns out I was running the Patagonias, I'm sorry, the X-Comps previously at uh, a lower pressure, and I'm running these at 22 now, and that seems to uh, give me a better ride, and it was interesting because after doing some research that uh, I wasn't aware of, uh, by running the tires at a lower pressure, I was not allowing the shocks to do their job. Um, it was being absorbed by the tires. And there's little Mackie. He comes out with us occasionally, loves to ride with us. But uh, anyway, yeah, running the tires low pressure wasn't allowing the, the shocks to actually do their job and work. It was being absorbed partially by the tire. And by the time the uh, impact went into there, it was offsetting the whole purpose of the, of the shock and the spring kit. Uh, this is some uh, typical area that we ride in. A lot of you guys are asking, well... Where is the Doniana Mountains? And, I mean, you can Google it, but the typical terrain here is desert, rock, lava, um, sandy arroyos. goes from uh, kind of solid forms of rock all the way to jagged and loose gravel. Uh, but that's kind of the area that we ride in, and these tires, in my opinion, are perfect for this. All right, second question I want to answer. Uh, yes, I did install the SMB particle separator. I got some questions on that from my previous video. And does it is it worth it? Yes, my opinion it is. This is the area, a better shot of uh, the area we ride in, just how arid it is, how dry. Now, for me, um, you got to imagine this part of the uh, desert southwest. You've got, even on the... <laughs> the winter days there's just a tremendous amount of dust and this thing i can say i have only gone through one filter it's the same air filter since i put this on and the thing looks brand new and i did uh, pick up the replace i'm sorry the recleanable one but it looks so good after uh, running it for almost 800 miles that uh it, it doesn't look like it needs even cleaning so the particle separator in my opinion uh well well worth it um so if you're thinking about getting one um just head over to s and b uh, i can also drop a link below if you guys uh, want to pick one of those up uh, but i think it's well worth the money um, especially in, if you ride in this kind of area uh, or anywhere in the desert southwest uh, this is a shot uh, 
of some of the steeper terrain and this video does not do it justice um, but just again the way these tires grip uh, I'm almost that a I'm standing up almost as I come down this incline that's how steep it is and these things literally grip so well that I could stop on the side of the hill uh, midway down and not have any issues on this solid rock but uh, yeah uh, really really good tires I'm really happy with them and I think I'm going to continue to run them unless I, uh, somebody shows me something uh, different or something better um, but coming up on 7800 miles and it's been an awesome machine so far um, I did have a couple issues as I indicated in my previous videos um, so if you've been following the channel uh, the bearing on the transmission the, the clutch one way replaced by Kawasaki and uh, a couple of other little minor hiccups um, but nothing major but the thing just handles well the shock therapy I'm very very impressed with so if you guys did want to have that done and and by the way if you guys live here in Las Cruces um, you don't have to drive out to Phoenix to have it done and if you live close to Las Cruces um, throat punch performance which are the guys that uh, install most of my stuff now uh, they are an authorized dealer for shock therapy so you can head out to see those guys they can order uh, the kit complete kits for your uh, your side by side whatever one you may own and they can install it but anyway the, the problem I had well I had shifting my CVT transmission and I didn't notice it over time it was acting like an automatic car and uh, it was the clutch weight kit so basically this is the one that I chose it's uh, from right coast off-road now there's a ton of kits out there that you can make your own determination which one uh, you want to use for your particular conditions and how you ride and what your setup is but this kit here worked the best for me and I researched it and uh, and I just found why is this thing shifting the way it is I couldn't figure it out but it it kind of felt like again an automatic transmission on a car where you'd rev it up and drop a gear and uh, but anyway what was causing it was the wear on the stock or Kawasaki weights that are inside this uh, that were inside my my uh, CVT and uh, so I went with these guys there's a shot of it and these I wish I saved the the new weights for you but these are the stock ones these are the ones that came with the KRX from Kawasaki and I'm trying to do this with uh, two hands holding the camera with one and the wind is blowing but if you look at the pitting on these weights it's very apparent and the wear was just insane now these things are supposed to be smooth um, when they're installed I assuming they were when they were new um, but the pitting on these things are just uh, crazy very very apparent and it was changing the conditions inside the CVT and creating this scenario where you felt like you were shifting like a car and if you know anything about CVTs that's not supposed to occur you're supposed to have one continuous motion and it should you know just be a one smooth transition of power no matter what you're doing on the power band or what your speed is but these things were just wore down really, really bad. And uh, you can see the pitting there. I hope that that shows up well on camera. But uh, I did not uh, get a shot of the new weights for you guys, but you can go check them out at their website. Again, I'm not paid by anybody. These things are the ones that uh, I feel would work best for me. And I've got to say, they've worked fantastic since I've had them installed. It... Uh, there when you order them you put in your setup whether you have what tire size whether you have a tune whether you don't have a tune stock exhaust etc etc and they ship the weights to you uh configured specifically for your setup and your situation so go check those guys out again i'm not paid by anybody this is just my opinion there's tons of kits out there that you can choose but uh, these guys make the most sense to me and uh, these are the ones I decided to go with. And it's been great. Now I actually feel like I have a brand new machine and I've got a lot more power. Um, as you can see, it comes with the entire uh, setup. 
You've got different variations uh, of inserts depending on uh, if you want to change your weights. And it comes with the little Allen wrench and the little cross to hold the the uh, CVT open while you're uh, putting the weights in. I did not install these myself. Again, I had throat punch uh, performance to it here in Las Cruces. So big thumbs up to those guys for taking care of me. Um, they do all my maintenance now, but uh, it's been like night and day. Uh, and it even feels better now that I have the larger tires that uh, I just get that power right off the bat and it it uh, handles itself all the way through the power band and basically it feels like I have a brand new machine again which is uh, pretty sweet uh, in my opinion um, also you know um, while they had it off uh, I'm on my third belt now so I picked up a G boost belt that was the second one I had on there besides the um, belt from Kawasaki that was OEM um and while they had it open i just said you know what the heck might as well throw a belt on it was coming up on that time anyway but uh this this here as i reach in is the old belt actually it's inside the ultimax case but uh that's the one that i took off but the one that it was installed was the ultimax it has kevlar uh, fibers in it it's very durable can stand up to tons of pressure and uh, has a three-year warranty. Um, again, there's different belts out there. This is just the one that I used. But uh, the wear on this was, you know, there was very little. This thing's still in great shape. I'm keeping it in the machine as a spare. But uh, yeah, I figured if I'm doing the clutch kit, just do a new belt. And that way I have a, a whole new setup and I can uh, see what everything, how everything works together with everything fresh. Um, but yeah, the biggest issue I've had now is 7,800 miles, and that's the neat part, guys. You you guys can prevent it. Uh, it just kind of jumped out at me. I didn't uh, I didn't notice it, and maybe it's because I changed tires and the the mileage I put on. Uh, it it should have jumped out at me, and I should have noticed it. But until I put these new tires on from the lighter ones, I really started noticing the shifting. And, uh, yeah, it turned out to be that the clutch weights were very worn. So if you guys are having any type of erratic shifting, um, I would get into there and have your clutch torn apart and take a look at those, especially if you have stock weights on there. You're going to notice uh, there's some wear. Um, again, you guys do what you'd like with as far as the weight kit goes. I went with the uh, right coast because I think it's great for me. But uh, 7,800 miles, guys. It's been an awesome machine. It's a great day. It's a little windy, but uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day riding. And I will do another review here, I think, once we hit 8,500. And I will keep you guys informed every step of the way and uh, let you know if I have any other issues. Uh, I appreciate everybody's support. Again, please like and subscribe. Um, it really helps me out and keep the comments and the emails coming and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day and we'll see you in the next video.